I'm sure this week you've been trapped in a slow-moving line. In this box, I have a gift that shows how to choose stores with the shortest wait in line. It's an old-fashioned telephone. Now, of course, it isn't the phone that's important. It's the study of early phone systems. It began in 1909 at the Copenhagen Telephone Company, where an engineer there, Agner Erling, asked the question, how many trunk or main telephone lines are needed to adequately service a town? Now, you could put in just one. That would mean huge delays because of blocked calls. You could install one for each phone. That's expensive and wasteful since not everyone calls at once. The telephone company needed a trade-off between these two extremes. To see what Erling did, let's look at a town where there's an average of two calls an hour. You'd think two trunk lines would do, but Erling showed that although the average rate is two an hour, the calls will bunch up. A lot of time it will be only two calls, but also sometimes none or three or four or five will occur. He showed that given the average number of calls and their average length, one can estimate the number of trunk lines needed. To make the calculation simple, I've assumed that Danes like to talk a long time, one hour on the average. Erling showed that for only 1% of the people to have a blocked call, you'd need to install seven trunk lines. What has this to do with our holiday season? Well, a shopper approaching a cash register is like a phone call arriving and an open cashier is like an available trunk line. To keep the lines moving, it would seem that the store should just measure the number of people arriving in a typical hour and then assign enough cashiers so that everyone will be served quickly. But as Erling showed, that's a recipe for gridlock. People will arrive in bunches, not spaced out evenly. So if stores have just the right number of cashiers for the average number of shoppers in an hour, the stores will at times have too few cashiers, resulting in long waits. Instead, they should make a single line feed multiple cashiers. For three cashiers, it's about three times faster than having a line for each cashier. Here's why. In the single line, single cashier setup, any delay, like a price check, stops the line completely. In contrast, when a line feeds to multiple cashiers, it's likely that only one of the three customers in front of you will have a delay, because recall that in Erlang's model, delays and events are distributed randomly, and that means a register will likely be open. Most stores don't do this, though, because it bothers customers psychologically. Customers prefer unwisely to jockey for position. This also explains why other lines always move faster than your line, or at least why they seem to move faster. Picture yourself in a line with a line on each side. We'll label them A, B, and C, and assume you are in line B. Now, if it's random that any of these lines will have a delay, there are six possible arrangements of the fastest to the slowest line at any particular moment. It could be that A moves faster, or B moves faster, or C takes the lead. Now, look at your line. Only twice out of six permutations did it come out in front. Thus, there's only one chance in three that it will be moving faster, and greater odds, two out of three, that one of the other lines will breeze past you. So here is Erlang's holiday message. Sure, today the other line moves faster, but some days you'll be in the faster lane. In other words, during this season, relax and let the odds be with you. I'm Bill Hammock, the engineer guy. Hello? Oh, hi, hon. Yeah. Uh, no, no, I'm not making a video. I'm, um, I'm out shopping. Uh, in fact, I'm, st I'm stuck in a line. You know, I always get the uh, slowest line.